Welcome to Daily Devotions with John Dyer. We're doing Steve looking at the people God uses throughout the Bible, many of them and likely choices. And today we're going to think of John Mark together and think of a second chance. Our key verse is taken from 2 Timothy chapter 4 and it's verse 11. Paul is writing and he says, Only Luke is with me. Get Mark and bring him with you because he is helpful to me in my ministry. You know, there are few things worse in life than being left down by a close friend when we need them the most. John Mark was brought up in a house of prayer. In Acts 12 verse 12 we read that after Peter was miraculously rescued from prison, he went to the house of Mary, the mother of John, also called Mark, where many people had gathered and were praying. As a young man, he was surrounded by the greatest of the New Testament church. He would have known the real men away from the public. He would have listened to their stories of their time with Jesus and he would have heard their prayer requests and their struggles. I can imagine John Mark on the edge of his seat one day dreaming that he too would be able to fulfill the Great Commission, travelling throughout the world and preaching the Gospel. His uncle was Barnabas and so after Paul and Barnabas were appointed to go on a missionary journey, John Mark's opportunity arrives. Acts 13 verse 5 says, When they left for Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogues. John was with them as their helper. He was given the opportunity to work behind the scenes, taking care of the things so Paul and Barnabas could focus on ministry. What an opportunity. Most of us would jump at the chance to be at the cutting edge of what God was doing in world missions. But something happened. Eight verses later we read in Acts 13 verse 13, From Paphos, Paul and his companions sailed to Perga in Pamphylia, where John left them to return to Jerusalem. The word translated as left in the original means to desert. It means to leave in a negative way. It means willful abandonment. Why he left, we don't know. Maybe he was homesick. Possibly he missed the wealthy lifestyle he was used to with servants meeting his needs. Perhaps he preferred to be served than to serve. Or perhaps he faced the problem that many young missionaries, church planters and pastors face. Unrealistic expectations. He expected every moment to be a time of miracles and revival. He was expecting something different to setting up chairs, waiting around and everyday normal moments. Whatever the reason, Acts 15, 37-39 says that sometime later Barnabas wanted to take John, also called Mark, with them. But Paul did not think it was wise because he had deserted them in Pamphylia and had not continued with them in his work. They had such a sharp disagreement that they parted company. Whatever had happened, Paul thought that he would messed up too bad the first time or was not prepared to give him a second chance. Maybe you've also made one or more mistakes that's left enduring limitations in your life. One mistake like keeps coming back to haunt you. John Mark probably thought that he had missed his chance and it was all over. Well, in Paul's view, it was. But in Barnabas's and God's view, there was still a second chance. There was always a second chance. In the years to follow, John Mark proves himself over and over again. Paul forgives him and he goes on to recommend him to others. See Colossians 4.10 and 2 Timothy 4 verses 9 to 11. John Mark had wondered if he would ever have another chance to fulfill his calling, to be involved in ministry, and now Paul says of him, he is useful to me. From John Mark's life, we can take great encouragement that failing in ministry doesn't erase the possibility of future use. Now many people may give up on us, but God never will. John Mark is also the author of the Gospel of Mark, the most translated book of the Bible in the whole world. What a turnaround for a man who gave up on his first missionary calling. All of us who have failed and all of us will fail. But by God's strength we can get back up and keep serving. Let's pray together. Our Father, we thank you for the way which you allow us to get back up after we failed and to keep serving you. Father, we thank you that you're a God of second chances. Because each one of us today are reminded of the times we've left you town. The times that we failed in ministry. The times that we've decided to turn our back on the hard work ahead of us and go back to a life of comfort and ease. Father, for whatever reasons have caused us to forsake our calling, whether we've made it a less priority in our lives, whether we've taken on extra responsibilities which meant that we can't serve you the way we ought, whether we've just simply got tired and decided to lay back in a life of ease. Lord, we pray that today we will again serve you the way that we ought. Father, help us not to desert your calling, not to abandon your people in a time of need, but to keep on serving faithfully. Father, we thank you for the second chance that you gave John Mark. and We thank you for the second chance that you give us. Lord, help us then to be useful in ministry. For your sake and for the sake of the church, we pray. Help us to live for you, to glorify you. Father, help us not to be somebody who causes division within the church, but somebody who causes unity and love. Father, we thank you again this day for how you are going to speak to us and use us. Help us to be sensitive to your spirit this day, we pray. In Jesus' name.
Amen.